this is the House of Oddities and Curious Goods. I am located in the square of Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, and I have collectibles from that I collected from the 1980s and up. A lot of things were accumulated from uh, estate sales when it comes to my oddities. eBay played a huge factor in the things that I gathered, and uh, as well as items from the Gettysburg Dime Museum. I have a lot of knickknacks here, so. Um, I've always, uh, always been a fan of like gags and like goofy toys and things like that, novelty. So um, some things back here and I have, uh, you'll, you'll find like the, the racks and things just have goofy shrunken heads, creepy fingers, eyeballs you can put in your coffee, Bigfoot things galore. I'm a huge fan of cryptids and um, you can't go wrong with your squirrel and underpants, air fresheners and bobbleheads. <laughs> I think um, the most strangest, well one of the most strangest thing is I, I do have a, a clown doll there against the wall and um, like all oddities, things that you buy, they come with a story and um, not all stories are true but there is something to that that um, kind of links with um, other stories that happened to a family, at, um, I think it was in Nevada where it happened. So, but, but the gist of the story is that um, a gift was given to a young boy and the young boy and the mother were found dead, but the father also said that the house was, he thought it was haunted at one point. And so the previous owner of that was a um, policeman, he was a state trooper, and he bought that from another policeman as well in Baltimore that did some research. So you can kind of, the names are different, you can kind of link a similar story to where that item might have been but that is the actual clown from that and uh, he may or may not have a murderous past but he's been very good. Really my goal is just to uh, have everyone see what I have on display. I do not charge admission and I am open two days a week Friday and Saturdays 12 to 6 p.m.